a little over an hour. Fireworks were seen over the pier, but the 4th of July festivities continue. On your side's Andrew Padillo is live there tonight. Andrew, so how early did people get there so they could see the fireworks? Yeah, Jessica, well, in typical Jacksonville Beach fashion, people got here early and they are continuing to party throughout the night. Right behind me, the line to get into Lynch's Irish Pub is pretty much backed up to Oku Sushi, which is next door. Now, plenty of these people, I'm sure we saw them on the beach. We saw them as early as getting to the beach around 6 this evening. That's when we got here and we saw plenty of people uh, staking out the beach, staking out areas where they can sit down and watch the fireworks. Now we spoke with people as far who came as far as West Virginia to watch the fireworks right here in Jacksonville. All of them saying Jacksonville Beach was the place to be for the 4th of July. America's birthday. It's going to be a Jack's Peach 4th of July, obviously. At the beach. Lots of great people on the beach, uh, lots of things to do. <laughs> people came from as far as the mountains of West Virginia. David Russ and Mariah Sanchez took a quick walk outside their front door. Well, we both live here and we live together and like we just love going to the beach. Like it's our favorite thing to do. And like going to the beach, being in the water and seeing those fireworks, it just sounds amazing. The 4th of July. Jack's Beach is the place to be at the beach. And people are actually still setting uh, fireworks off here. We're about an hour, um, an hour, two hours after the finale of the Jack's Beach fireworks here at the beach. And as you saw, the line is still pretty long getting into Lynch's Irish Pub. And I do want to remind everyone, if you are riding bikes uh, in and around the beach, you can get a DUI. Jacksonville Beach Police are out and about tonight. So please, however you are getting home, be reminded of the rules and please do get home safely. For now, we're live here at Jacksonville Beach. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.